How is it? Good? One, two. All right, let's do this. In swimming, in the news, the French, the frogs are paddling fast at the Paris Open, particularly in the men's 4x100 freestyle relay. They obliterated the European record and came within a hair's breadth of the world record. This past spring, Alan Bernard broke the world record in the men's 100 freestyle. In Paris, in the relay, his split time, 47-27. June 18th, the official psych sheet for the Olympic trials was released. Michael Phelps, he's swimming everything. Not the 50 in the mile, or both breaststrokes, but almost everything. Can he do that? Katie Hoff has entered in seven events. She will be swimming all of those events. But Katie Hoff can't wear a corporate logo on her cap, a piece of real estate that's long been used by athletes to gain endorsement dollars as far back as 1989. The U.S. Olympic Committee is drawing a line in the sand. According to them, if you compete in an Olympic-sanctioned meet, they own your noggin. According to Nathan Jendrick, reporter and columnist for SwimNetwork.com, one world-class athlete who will not be named will lose as much as six figures in endorsement money. <laughs> Nike. 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 Nike's also in the news. According to the Associated Press, they're going to allow their athletes to wear other manufacturers' competitive suits if they so choose. Scott Goldblatt, Olympic gold medalist and silver medalist, presently the general manager of Sportnet, scooped this story back in early May. At the last few Grand Prix meets, I've spoken to athletes, agents, and their coaches on this subject. Interestingly, a lot of them said they're going to do everything in their power to honor their contracts. I didn't believe them. But one coach in particular told me that the Nike contract is a handsome sum. It's a life changer. And the contract is, it is your word, it is your honor. And they're going to do everything they can to stay true to that. It was pretty convincing. And I'll be at Olympic Trials next week with the USA Swimming Foundation. I'll also be there with over 120 national team alumni. We have a suite. We'll be on site. Come by, say hello to your favorite old Olympian. Ask us about the Make a Splash program, which is our continuing support of Learn to Swim programs across the country. You'll be glad you asked.